Hey, how you doing, guys? This is Rob uh, with another uh, quick tip. I wanted to help out uh, with some uh, sourcing ideas. Uh, for some people who are asking me about some sort, you know, where to source merchandise from. Uh, <clears throat> last video, I spoke a little bit about the rummage sale. I just want to show the these are actually good items here to pick up. This is like a tennis track suit. These vintage track suits like this. Uh, they're pretty popular. Uh, the European style. Um, people actually in Europe. I sold a few uh, of these shirts. I don't know how to really pronounce this. I'm, this is a French name. I'm better with my Italian. Not uh, French. But uh, this was only $2 for the for the set. And I got another one too. So for 2 bucks, can't go wrong. But my other sourcing tip that I was going to mention was... Um, Try to make friends with people who buy storage lockers. Um, what happens is most of these guys who buy multi, you know, they buy a lot of storage lockers. They end up with a lot of small items. Basically, a lot of what a lot of guys do is they'll buy the lockers, and then um, with the small items, they usually bring, you know, they they usually try to sell off the bigger items and more expensive items. Uh, on eBay or local sites, whatever it is, Craigslist kind of sites. And then what they do is with the smalls, they usually, they, uh, they'll they bring them to a flea market or they'll have garage sales at their own house. But like anybody, anything else, they get they get loaded up with, with death piles, you know, like everybody else. So what happens is, just like everybody else, they'll have a, a big death pile of items... And they'll just want to get rid of stuff. So if you're somebody who's either, say, selling clothing. Let's say you're selling uh, costume jewelry, vintage photographs. If you're selling small kind of items like that, where it's like a box of something, you know, where even a baseball cards, comic books kind of thing, where something that has to be looked up, where it's a lot of something, where it's not just like... Uh, you know, somebody who's selling a lawnmower or a power tool or, uh, you know, a one-off kind of item or, like a t you know, or like TV or something. Or even if you buy, say, electronics, a lot of times these guys, they just flip the electronics, but if it's something that's broken, it's going to be hard for them to move. So then if you can, you know, you can buy it from them at a cheap price and then repair it. But a lot of these guys, they come across a lot of stuff. And uh, you can meet these guys usually either at flea markets that they're trying to sell their other stuff, or you can meet them at the, you, you know, you can show up to the auctions and just, you know, start talking to the people around there and saying, look, you know, if you come across, uh, you know, any children's clothing or whatever the hell you sell or, you know, old photographs or something, you know, you hook up with them. And then, you know, a lot of these guys, they're resellers, so they know that you have to make a profit. And then they, they'll uh, they'll fit you in. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip. Thank you.